Code to Enhance Learning presents the CEL video series for beginners to learn various coding concepts. Through this video series, we aim to introduce you to the world of coding using the Scratch coding platform. Hello everyone, I am Ayush Sankaran, an enthusiastic coder, CEL hackathon participant and a volunteer for CEL. I am going to be introducing you to the concepts of programming using the Scratch platform with fun and simple projects. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Welcome to course 1 of the series Coding with Scratch. The first episode will be a maze through which you will learn all about sequencing. In this session, we are going to create a simple project to help Pappu move out of the maze. Before we proceed to today's lesson, let's learn the concept of a sequence. A sequence means arranging something in a proper logical order. Here we can see a girl followed by a boy standing in a proper order. This is a sequence. Now let us see what an algorithm is. An algorithm is a group of instructions to complete a task. Let's look at an example. We have an algorithm for a cat to brush its teeth. Initially, the cat has dirty teeth and applies paste to the brush. Brushes the teeth and it gets clean teeth in the end. This is an algorithm to brush teeth. Can we change the order of step by brushing teeth before putting paste on the brush as shown here? No, this is wrong. Note that the steps in the algorithm have to be in a sequence which means a proper order. Now let us see what a program is and how to write one. The instructions that a computer can understand to complete a given task is called a program. Program is also called a code or a script. Let's go ahead and write our first program to help Pappu get out of the maze. As you can see here, Pappu is inside the maze and would like to get to the door. We have these four helper blocks which we can use to give instructions to help Pappu get to the door. Pause the video and guess the block we will use. The instructions we will give are as shown. Move two steps forward, move three steps right and again move one step forward. But with the same helper blocks, we can also arrive at another way to help Pappu reach the door, which looks like this. Here the instructions are move 3 steps right and move 3 steps forward. There can be one more longer way as shown here. As you can see, there are multiple ways such that Pappu can use to reach the door. So which one should we use? The one with the shortest number of steps will be the most efficient and computer will take the least time to process when the steps are less. These instructions to complete a task is called an algorithm. There can be many algorithms to complete a given task. The one which has the shortest processing time is usually the most efficient. When we provide these instructions to a computer to help Pappu get to the door, we have written a program. Let's take a look at the Scratch platform where we will be writing our first program. Scratch is a computer block based programming language used to make games, animations and applications. It helps to think, to be creative and builds other relevant skills. It is one of the most important skills in the current digiting world. What's more, it's a lot of fun. Let's take a look at the components of Scratch. There are three main components, the palette, the editor and the stage. Let's look at them in more detail. I have opened the Scratch offline editor where we will be coding our project. Let's take a look at what we have here. On the left is the block box or palette which have blocks of code. At the center, we have the editor to write codes and towards the right is the stage where we will see our project come to life. The cat 
is called a sprite and is a character in our project. The sprite has some features which can be edited from this section here. Now I will rename the project to call it maze. Next we need new sprites and a backdrop for our project. First I will delete the cat sprite from our project. I will go to the add backdrop button at the bottom right. From the list I choose the outdoors category and then the winter backdrop for our project. Now you can see this backdrop in our project. Now we go to the add new sprite button at the bottom right. From the list I choose the animals category and select penguin 2 sprite. As the penguin sprite looks quite big, I will change the size of the penguin to 50. Now I will drag the penguin to the starting point where it will be when the project starts. Next we add another sprite to our project. From the animals category, this time I choose fish. I reduce the size of the fish to 50 and move it to the starting position. The aim of the project is to make the penguin catch the fish. For this, we need to write codes in the penguin sprite. Please note each sprite has its own code editor. So make sure you are writing the code in the penguin. We need an event to start our project. An event is something which triggers a sequence of instructions. We will learn more about events in later lessons. I choose the when space key pressed block from events. When space key is pressed, I want the penguin to move to the left. I bring the point in direction block and move the arrow to the left. This corresponds to the value minus 90. Next, I bring the move 10 steps block and change the steps to 50. Now that I have written few lines, I will test my code by clicking the event block or pressing spacebar on my keyboard. As you can see, the penguin moved to the left, but it tilted upside down. To avoid this, I will bring the set rotation style block with rotation style as left to right and place it next to the event. Now I test the code again by clicking the event. As you can see, the penguin tilted to its original position. Now before moving further, I will place the penguin back in its starting point. Next, I go to controls and bring the wait one second block, followed by another move 50 steps block. I then duplicate the wait one second and move 50 step blocks two more times. I bring the penguin back to the start and then test the code by clicking the event. As you can see, the penguin moves 50 spaces to the left 4 times. Now we want the penguin to move up, so I bring the point in direction block. I move the arrow to point upwards which corresponds to 0 degrees. Before this step, I add a wait 1 second block. After point in direction, I add another move 50 steps block, followed by a wait 1 second block.
After this, I add four move 50 steps blocks, which will make the penguin move a total of 200 steps. I move the penguin to the starting point and press the space key. As you can see, the penguin moves to the left and then upwards to finally reach the fish. We have successfully written our first program. What more can you try? You can try to create your own project with any two sprites and backdrops of your choice. Try to make the sprites move around the screen using the blue motion blocks. Happy coding your own project! In the next episode, we will make a sprite speak in our project by using speech bubbles and playing sounds. We will also learn further about sequences and the concept of abstraction. I will see you in the next video. This is Ayush signing off. Bye.